In this video, I'm going to show you how much content I have outsourced for my blogs over the last three months. So specifically August, September, and October. And I'm also, I also have broken it down by site uh, to show you how much each site got, how many articles each site got in each of those three months. So first, let's take a look at site one in August. So site one is my, it's not my, technically my oldest site, but it is currently my oldest site that it, I consider to be part of my portfolio. So site one is my oldest site and um, it hasn't been getting as much attention as it used to just because I've moved on to other sites and it's in a smaller niche. But in August of this year, I did manage to get 20 articles published. And then in September, 17 and in October, another seven. Now, I will say that uh, this site and this site only uh, is not was not outsourced to um, freelancers. It was all written in-house. Then uh, on to site two. Uh, let's see. Site two is currently my biggest site uh, in terms of both article count and um, income that could change once the holidays get closer uh, site one could take back over or next year when we hit the spring site one is very seasonal but on to August I got 16 articles published 14 in September and then October 46 articles published for a total of 76 for that site during that period uh, site 3 is the site I purchased recently, back in March, I think. I published uh, quite a bit of content over the summer to this site, so I was already slowing down a little bit. But in August, I got 21 articles, September 23, and I had taken a break by October, so I haven't published anything in October or November yet. Site 4, I really did almost nothing, but I will add... Uh, site 4 is my outdoors site, and in October and uh, now in November, I am publishing on this site again after about a six-month hiatus, so uh, I'm bringing this site back to life, and it is my goal at the moment to get it on to Mediavine. Site 5 uh, is a very broad niche. It's got about 70 articles on it. I'm just not doing anything at all with it. So I published one article in September and that's it for this site. Site 6 is one of the three new sites that I did a case study on recently. I'll put a link to it uh, up at the top of the screen here. So August was the first real full month for this site. So uh, I publish a lot of content in August because I like to get as much published the first month as possible. So I got 35 articles published in August, another 21 in September, and then 15 in October. I did get a few published before uh, uh, this period, so in July. So this um, site does have a total of maybe 60 or so. So it's you know, pretty close to what I have here. Then site seven was created, I believe the very next month or maybe the month after that. Yeah, it was created in August because I do have an article here. So uh, one article in August, 14 in September and 15 in October brings us a total of 30 for this site. And then site eight, my final site, uh, it was just created in October when I got 25 articles published, and I've done another five or so in uh, November for a total of 30. But uh, just in this time period, I was able to publish 288 articles. Eventually, I want all of my sites to be of a similar size. You know, I know one side is always going to be the biggest, one or two sites are always going to be the biggest, and that's fine but I don't want to be kicking around a bunch of tiny sites anymore. I want every site to be substantial 
and that's why I'm trying to spread around the content a little more than I have been. So that's kind of what you can see in these graphs, even though, you know, I work in, uh, I work in sprints, so to speak. So, uh, you know, like in August, site six got the majority of the content. Now in October, I decided to really go full steam ahead on site two, which is my biggest site. And I published, uh, let's see, 46 articles in one month on site two. And I can say that I'm already seeing results from that uh, in November, mid-November. And uh, traffic is really going up for this site, which is great. So I'm really hoping to see an increase in traffic on this site over the next few months. And then over here, I've just got uh, each month with uh, this stacked graph here showing uh, the allocation for each month, basically. And then I added up the amount for each month, uh, 3,315 in August, 3,518 in September. And in October, I spent almost $5,000 at $4,972. And that's a grand total of $11,806.52 in content uh, over the months of August, September, and October. So for now, I'm able to produce about 300 articles every three months, and that's a pretty substantial amount of content. So I'm happy with that volume for now. So that's about it for this video. I just wanted to give you guys a peek into my portfolio and how much content I outsource and also how much I spend on my content. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.